Hi everybody, welcome, my name is Vognus, and this is Dear Man, the game. It's a game made by Red Mount Media. And it looked pretty interesting, so we're gonna see what we're... I'm a morning person, even though I was visiting my parents. I had already had planned to go out for a run in the nearby woods. I like to run. It snowed last night. We don't get snow in Australia. I was totally up for it. It was a cold Sunday. Minus five degrees. I was out for a quick run. Shift Which way up. you want to take? Let's take a left. I don't know. Let's make let's make a decision. Let's take a right. Let's go straight. Let's go talk to this deer. What's up, guy? Yep. Nobody loves me. That's why I live in these dark woods. The woods were beautiful. Everything seemed connected. Wow. I would have loved to have played this in a virtual reality. But, you know, I'm broke, so. <laughs> Can't afford such things. Wow. This guy's a pretty dedicated jogger. Do I even know where I'm going? I don't think so. Hey. Hey, dear. Where are you going? Doesn't sound too good. <laughs> Trees are blocking me there a little. Is there somewhere specific I'm supposed to be heading to? Remember, I took the axe, too. Okay. Oh. All the light in the woods. Yep. What are you going to do with that axe? Hello? All alone in the woods. And... <laughs> We've examined that plenty. Fantastic. Okay. I found nothing useful in the cabin. Is this a cabin? This is a piece of shit. What the hell? really cool. Majestic. It's very majestic. What are you doing, dear? What are you doing? No idea where the hell I'm supposed to go. All the light in the woods. 
Yeah. I feel pretty all alone in the woods right now. We'll keep keep on keeping on. So I'm not quite sure what the story of this game is, to be honest. I just kind of saw it on Steam and it piqued my interest. So I had some positive reviews. Mostly positive. I don't know if I'm, um, I am a deer man or what the deal is, but I guess we'll have to see. Okay. Well. I guess I'll just stay on the path. I don't know where the hell they want me to go. I think I see something over there. Something's here. Oh, what's that? It's a house. And a chest. Or what is this? Just some box. It's just some box. Wooden box was locked, but I managed to open Clothes it. Clothes laid in the box. I knew there was something strange happening in these woods. Maybe someone was living here. I saw a cottage. It seemed abandoned, but the door was open. Oh, okay. So I guess I'll just let myself in. Hey, what's up, guy? Inside, it was mostly empty. I saw tilted picture frames hanging on the walls and a dusty cupboard by the door. It was a private place, and it looked like someone had recently visited. There we go. Yeah, I think it looks good too. What's this? What's going on, box? Board of wood. Open drawer. A letter. I don't know what is going on with you. You leave early in the mornings and come home late at night. The only time I get to see you is when you are asleep. It's getting hard for me, and I'm afraid it's not going to work out between us. And I'm sure you know that. And I am hoping you will do something to make it all good. Emily. Yeah, man. Well, look, look at where you, where you live. I don't think she wants to live in this dusty cabin with you. That has holes in it. What is this? What's in here? I don't even want to know what's in there. Okay. So... Where are we heading to now? I guess just anywhere. Anywhere but here. The land, the woods. Beautiful. This is just what I needed. This is a cemetery. Oh boy, I'm 
hearing voices. There was a graveyard covered by snow. It reminded me of my uncle. He passed away in a car accident not too long ago. But there was something unusual. I saw an animal's leg sticking out of one of the tombstones. Right here. Is that supposed to be a hint for me to grab something sticking out? Because I'm not seeing anything. Unless it is this. Uh, nope. Nothing. Let's just keep moving. What is that? Oh shit! Oh. Run! Oh shit! Don't look back! Don't look back! Oh god. I should find a place to hide. We? What's this we all of a sudden? Now there's a we? Oh shit! Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. No, 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 no! Save me, dear! Call off the- call him off! Call off your goon! God, I'm dead. I don't even know where to hide. Where the hell do you hide from something like this? In here. Oh. But won't he just follow me in here? Let's be ready with this. Jesus. Whoa. Is he out there? Shit. I think that thing is gone. I should unlock the door and run back home. You're an idiot. No, he's not gone. Look, if we're gonna get out of this together, we need to be smarter than this. Make some noise. I don't know what to do. This. Okay, then. let's see. What's this? That was some scary shit. Holy... What the huh? fuck? Oh no, now he's coming back? I can't run as fast. Why? I woke with a migraine, my vision blurry, I was trying to make sense of what had happened. On my right, the fire burned and a kettle hissed, I saw the thing standing in front of me. But well, that thing turned out to be a man, holding a deer mask. He apologized to me and explained he mistook me for a hunter. I assured him that I was not there to hunt, but I questioned why he would have attacked a hunter. He said he had a reason, as he poured a glass of warm water and handed it to me. He asked me if I wanted to know. Yes, I replied. He grew up in a poor family in a small house near these woods. He had a family, a wife and his four-year-old. He hunted wildlife to bring food back home. One cold winter's day, he was hunting deep in the woods. They had only enough food left for one more meal. Okay, 
I see words. I've been hunting for past f a few years. The woods have never been this quiet. For the past few new years? What? Whatever. English. Was English my first language? Yes. It was almost dark, and he was far from home. He had to be quick. Or else what? Is there something worse than Deer Man out here? I don't like that. So Deer Man's not a bad guy. Well. After hours of searching, he was exhausted and had nearly lost hope. Oh, I'm exhausted and have nearly lost hope. More words. And even that's double words. I hope to get something for today. I don't want my family to sleep hungry. It's already dark. I have to be quick. There's nothing out here. Everything out here is already dead. Do I see something over there? As we cross here. And then he found something. There he we kept go. a far distance and drew his gun. Equipped the rifle. Done. Okay. And then he found something. He kept a far distance and drew his gun. Oh, I screwed it up the first time. Shot. He lined up the sights and pulled the trigger. The deer fell to the ground. He ran towards it to pick it up. Oh? Oh. And right then, a baby fawn came out to lie next to its dying mother. Oh no. He told me it was the worst feeling of his life. Oh. He no. had destroyed another's family to provide for his own. That's As terrible. tears rolled down his cheeks. He closed his eyes tight and remembered how many lives he'd taken. He opened his eyes and there they were. Every life he took all around him. Well, fire up the barbecue. Can't just, can't just leave him there like this. It was hard for him to comprehend. He couldn't believe his eyes and that he was guilty of what he had done. He threw his gun and ran away. That was the last time he hunted. Uh. He finished telling his story. As he stood, he reached out to help me up. He thanked me for listening to him. I wanted to know more after hearing his story, but it was time to go. We shook hands. He held on to my grip and confided with me. I hope you don't think I'm stupid for doing this, he said. Of course not, I replied. Deep down inside, I was so inspired by him. His courage to protect the deer and his bravery risking his life really touched me. All right then, we heard a gunshot. Follow me, a hunter is near, he said. Donning his mask, he ran to the sound. My heart pounded. I was afraid, but something made me follow him. I 
across a frozen lake. I wasn't sure if the deer man went the same way, but I saw no other path. Okay. Let's not be lazy and try to cut through the water here. I have a feeling it'll be instant death for us. <gasps> Run! Did I die? Oh, I did die. Whoops. Okay, well. Oh, no! Damn man. I wasn't sure what happened. I couldn't see much further. No. Oh, won't well, let me go. And then no. I saw him lying on the ground. No. He had been shot. I shouted, Somebody help! Rudolph! I shouted again, begging for help. What did they do to you, Rudolph? But no one answered. Well, let's be honest. You go around trying to hunt hunters with a fucking deer mask on. The police found a piece of paper in the deer man's pocket. It said, I take full responsibility of whatever happens to me. I hold no one responsible. I demand the hunter is set free so that on his next hunt, he thinks twice to take an innocent life from the wild. Police did catch the hunter and drop the charges. I could see the hunter was sorry, but well, the deer man was gone. We buried the deer man in the same woods. That night I couldn't sleep. And the next day I returned to the woods to see his grave. I was there to thank him for inspiring me, showing me how to love the unspoken wild. A baby fawn stayed by his grave, unfazed by my presence. Wow. I thought I was supposed to pick you up at first. I just walked all over you. Oh dear man! Dear man! No! What's that? He just let me walk. Can I pet him? Oh, he has... He has telekinetic powers. He won't let me near him. Let's go. Damn it. Am I just supposed to stay here and talk to him? Hmm. I guess we take a walk. I knew why the deer weren't afraid of me anymore. I walked among them now. And they wouldn't run. I felt welcome in these woods. That's when I decided to take the dear man's mission forward. There has to be a reason to live. And I had just found mine. You're gonna become the new dear man? Are you serious? Do you really think that's your calling in life? I mean, don't get me wrong, it's very beautiful. You're gonna walk around with a fucking deer skull on your head. A deer mask on your head, trying to get hunters to shoot you. I was in the same path where I first met the deer man. I remember how he ran towards me, and I did the same. I started to run. Faster and faster. I didn't want to stop. The deer ran along with me, on my right and on my left. For the first time in my life, I felt a true love for the wildlife. I am the deer man. It was interesting. It was very, really short. But, I mean... It was only like two bucks, so, you know, you're not expecting to get much for that. 
But it was still pretty good. I mean, interesting. I just want to get it all clear for myself, though. I mean, he meets a guy who puts on a deer mask, gets killed, and then becomes the new guy who puts on the mask. But, okay. It is a game about loving wildlife, though. So. It was interesting. It was actually kind of scary when he showed up at first. Well. That's Deerman, everybody. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, I just, you know, played it out of curiosity. And then, you know, it's a nice little quaint game, so. It's good. Definitely check it out. Check out Red Mount Media. They seem like they're working on uh, some interesting stuff that's coming, so that should be uh, something to look out for. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching. Thanks as always. If you enjoyed, just leave a like. And I will see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.